I got stranded in the middle of a shrine with no way to move forward. This was not supposed to happen. After unlocking the Upland Zorana Tower and sky gliding up to the islands, I found this cool flying ball that has a shrine, a Zonai dispenser, and even a sage's will hidden underneath. I decided to check out the shrine, which was called a flying device. The goal is that you're trying to get to the end of the room to the shrine exit. There's three lanes with two gliders on either side just waiting to be launched, and a third in the middle that spawns and goes flying on its own unless you're like me and obnoxiously stand in the way to see what happens. <laughs> Now it doesn't. In my first attempt, I ignored the glider on the right and instead tried to take off with the other one, but it rudely left without me. Fortunately, the area I needed to get to was a short enough distance to paraglide, but that's when things took a turn for the worst. See this right here? This was my first mistake. If you've seen my other videos, you know I have a tendency to bring Zonai devices with me all throughout the shrines long after they've already served their purpose. Little did I know that this one time that I actually let it be that I walked right right by it like it no longer existed would be the time I'd actually need this glider. But more on that in a moment. I instead focused solely on the next device in front of me, the Zonai skateboard. I figured this next bit was enough of an incline to at least get it moving, so I positioned it and remained stationary. I did what worked on the other Zonai devices, TV remotes, and former printers of mine and thwacked it to see if that would work, but again to no avail. Then it dawned on me that this device needed a steeper incline, so I got it positioned all nice and then timed it wrong so it left without me. In my mind, I see this as a small setback, a minor inconvenience. After all, there were already two other skateboards headed in that general direction, and certainly I could hitch a ride on one of them. In fact, why did I even bother with the one that wasn't already moving? Except for the fact that this was my second mistake. You see, in this particular shrine, I learned something new. I was already aware that Zonai devices respawn where you're used to seeing them. However, with this shrine, I learned that the glider and cart won't spawn in the middle area until they are triggered. And how do you trigger them? By landing them on the platform or at least near enough to where the game recognizes that you made a slight effort to bring it with you and now it's gone. Well, not only did I not land at least one of the gliders here, which was a clear option in the beginning, but I also leapt from the cart onto the platform and watched as that too fell in the abyss. Had I not let my old hoarding habits die with that last shrine, attached the glider to the cart and brought both with me, I wouldn't be in my current predicament. Well, I tried to make the most of it. Since I couldn't ascend to where the treasure chest was without being directly beneath it, I decided to test out a one fan flying device and see if that would work. In a vain attempt to not restart the whole shrine over, I tried my hardest to use Ultra Hand and grab the cart and glider that were just barely out of reach. Not sure if I should have used Rewind and then switched to Ultra Hand, maybe that would have worked, but I always forget that Rewind is a thing, so I guess I'll never know. In a moment of frustration and desperation, I jumped off the side hoping that I could just paraglide successfully to the end goal, but of course we all know what happened next. In my next attempt, I thought to send a glider over first before doing anything else. I sent that second glider over to the other side, attached it to the cart, and did not make it over to the middle platform with the cart. Fortunately, it was close enough to trigger a respawn to the middle area, where I... Okay, let's ignore that. In my head, I'm still trying to work out a way to get to the treasure chest and not certain on how to fly straight up. Of course, this was also a failed attempt until I broke this apart, jumped around the fan god, and asked for guidance. I soon received my divine message that told me the glider's wingspan was just wide enough to use as a makeshift bridge and use a set. So now I glide back down and assemble this flying device the intended way before successfully getting to the end. Speaking of the end, check out how I escaped it by defeating five Lynels in the laziest way possible. 